Hello friends! It's been a while since I have been sitting in front of the camera like this. I'm excited. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about where I've been, but first I want to tell you about an event, a fun little writing event that's happening this weekend. I was doing a stream for my patrons when I had an unhinged idea that they immediately encouraged as that relationship is what to do. We had rolled the D100. Ooh. Uh, we'd rolled this to determine how long we'd be sprinting for. We got a five and then like a 19, I think. And then we just joked like, screw it, let's just do the biggest prime number we can. 97 minute sprint. And then as I was looking it up, I was like, what if we did every prime number under 100? Well, once I actually mathed that out, <laughs> I realized that that is 1,060 minutes of sprinting. So obviously that was like not gonna happen. <laughs> not that day, not the following day, but it is happening this weekend, okay? So over on Twitch, we're going to have the Wheel of Prime uh, with every prime number under 100 listed. We'll spin the wheel before every sprint so we have like a little bit of variety going and that's how long we will be sprinting for that session. So we're gonna cover 1,060 minutes, which is like 17.67 hours of sprinting. That doesn't even include how much talking we'll do in between. So I'm thinking that this event is going to take like four days or so. We'll start on Friday the 2nd. I'm looking at my calendar. <laughs> We're gonna start on Friday the 2nd because I have been attempting these 10K Fridays where the goal is not only to write 10,000 words, but it's also to walk 10,000 steps as part of my goals for this year in tandem with what we'll talk about later. I have not succeeded a single time in writing the whole 10,000 words, but I have done all the 10,000 steps each Friday. I have done it and it, it's just been a blast. It's been a fun time. I'm hoping that like maybe on prime writing weekend, that's when I'll finally hit the 10K. <laughs> I've been taking notes about how those 10K weekends have been going and just, just a blast, just fun. How many words did I get? Last Friday, I got 3,560. <laughs> so again, not, not anywhere close to the 10K, but uh, a fun day of writing and streaming and walking. But anyway, so I'm just gonna kind of combine my personal 10K Friday in with the prime writing weekend. I also want to do some other fun things. Since we're theming it prime, all the prime numbers, we got, I feel like we gotta go all in, you know? So we're gonna have a little competition of sorts. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard about like these six word stories, the kind of flash fiction. Uh, I think the most famous one is like uh, baby shoes for sale, never worn sort of thing. But what if we did a seven word story? Because seven is prime. We'll do a seven word story. And then also we could do some haikus because that's like a five, seven, five prime syllable. <laughs> Thing. And over the course of the challenge, so as soon as the first stream starts on Friday and as soon as we get through all of the sprints, uh, probably Monday, maybe even Tuesday, that's when like the time will end that you can send them to me. I will put a link down below. Um, make sure you use the right phrase in the title. Uh, again, it will be listed. And I will corral them all and then we can vote on them later. And then the one that everyone likes the best, I'll send you like a little bit of money for some coffee or maybe a book to buy or something. So just, just fun stuff. I think it's gonna be a blast. <laughs> what else are we doing? I have my notes. My patrons voted on it being this weekend, February 3rd weekend. Um, but if we end up having a good time with it, technically March 23rd is a prime day going by the year month day, um, March 23rd to March 27th. We could do that and it would be, it would be all prime. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll kind of test it out. We're also gonna have a bingo board with some fun stuff. If you like bingo, it'll be like seven water refills. Prime. Two location changes. Prime. Anyways, yes, I just wanted to let you know, oh, I will be hosting it over on Twitch. I feel like that's important because I'm telling you on YouTube. I, it will be on Twitch. Um, I find that personally, I just think it's easier as someone hosting longer form sprint sessions. I just like Twitch better. And then I have been saying that I don't know how long the event's gonna last other than it will start sometime Friday, um, in part because of the various reasons I've been gone, dealing with some health stuff. And um, 
yeah, so I just want to give myself some flexibility. So it is definitely not going to be like full days of streaming. We'll have breaks. I would encourage you to then like go on some walks or whatever. Um, eat some good food. Yes. Uh, so we'll just keep going until I'm able to finish off all of the sprints. So no definite end time. I know that's not super helpful, but you'll be able to look at the Wheel of Prime as we eliminate some and then determine. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm very excited for this wheel. Okay. Date. 1060 minutes of sprints. I think we've covered it. Now the last time you would have seen me was like the last day of November, I think, when I did my 2024 goals, what I was talking about December being my test month, which as an aside, I haven't done this in a while. Ooh, I was about to say that like, I haven't done this in a while and that's why my brain's all over the place, but I'm realizing actually, it's always been like this. <laughs> as an aside, I love the idea of December as a test month. I've felt that way for several years and I have used December as my test month, but like I am gonna send myself an email and time it to send out like mid-November so that I remember, because what happens is that inevitably I get sick sometime in December because there's more parties and we're around more people um, that I haven't been in a while. There's more events, family stuff, and in the end, it just ends up being not conducive to the thing that I'm trying to do. Like I test it out, but I think what I really need this year, December's just gonna be my, my chill month. That's what it should be. I'm just gonna, that's what it is. But I have to remind myself of that in November because otherwise I start getting all these ideas because I love a New Year's vibe, but it's just, it's not, not working for me. Anyways, so you last saw me in November talking about 2024. I talked briefly about some of the health stuff that I was doing and how I had more doctor's appointments and stuff. And I want to say that I am fine. I want to stress that I am fine. I am okay. I've had some wins, which is that my migraine medicine that I got from this doctor, new migraine meds work wonderfully um, in comparison to all the stuff I tried before, I feel really confident. Um, I've had a couple instances of migraines and got to try them out and it like, I, it, it's so nice when you find something that works. Um, yes. And I feel heard by my doctors and everything so that that is phenomenal and I trust these doctors. Also phenomenal. So I know that's not always the case. So I've been having some of my health stuff where it's a matter of like, uh, not if, but when I'll need to go on certain medications for things I'm just like naturally predisposed to. It's really not that exciting. It's just that I'm getting older and the stuff that was okay enough when I was younger is no longer okay. And I've also had some tummy issues in part perhaps linked to some of the other stuff, but not entirely linked to it. So it's been just like a lot of trial and error on what my body can handle and a bunch of different like big sort of collective habit changes I'm having to make. And it's, you know, when you've lived, when you've walked through life <laughs> doing things a certain way for, you know, however many decades, it can be hard to change those things. and. It's just, I don't know, sometimes I feel a little bit like a toddler where I'm pushing back, where I'm like, well, I didn't have a problem with this much of something. So maybe if I have this much of the thing, it'll be fine too. And then it's not, and I act all surprised. Anyways, so it's, yeah, I'm just, I'm tinkering with stuff. And I have talked about some of the like health anxiety I've had on top of that. So it's kind of these big lifestyle changes, food related changes, movement related changes I'm having to make, which would be big by themselves. But then my brain is like, just freaks out unnecessarily. But it doesn't matter because it's still gonna do it freaks out about it. And so I was just having like little bits of spirals where I just was I, I it's one of those words like you can see yourself from afar. And you're like, I know why this is happening, but in the moments, my brain is just like not computing it in the way that it needs to. So I just took a step back and I took a step back from a lot of stuff as I'm trying to get a handle on this, uh, all these new routines and things that I have to do. But then I also took a step back from YouTube because I don't know if y'all get this way, um, but whenever I'm on one of those anxiety spirals, you know how your brain likes to lie to you, I have had having been on the internet for, I don't know, five, oh, 
ooh, how many years? <laughs> Having been on the internet for a while, you're bound to read like negative comments and stuff. And when I'm in like even a mostly healthy, even like a half healthy mindset, they do not phase me at all. But somewhere in the midst of the spiral, I will remember things from years ago where my brain's like, see that one person said that one thing about you and they know and that's whatever. And it's not true. But in the spiral, it you just, I you hear them. And so even though I can take a moment and be like, that's not real, it doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. It takes some of the joy out of doing YouTube. So it's kind of like one of those where you're just compounding problems. And so with YouTube specifically, I was like, I just need to. <laughs> and so now two months on from the last video, but also like, three and a half months or whatever from the start of this kind of, um, these changes I've been needing to make. Um, I'm, the anxiety about them has reduced, which means those, that voice has disappeared completely. The anxiety is lessened a little. And then the changes are becoming slowly, very slowly, but it's fine because it's, it's fine. <laughs> These are, these are lifestyle changes, so it, it can be slow, um, except that I need to make sure that I'm doing it because of how often I have to test, it doesn't matter. Anyways, <laughs> so because I am actually like implementing some of the things, it, you know, it's all, it all feels like it is working again. I do have it on my list on my goals for the year um, to actually like get a therapist and work through some of my like clearly, I would say in the spiral sort of like unhealthy processing. So I'm aware of it. Step one. Step two, I do have insurance that I've already kind of looked at the past. So I'm, I'm, I guess I'm feeling good is what I'm saying. And that is why I am partially back. Um, I think it's gonna be kind of, again, a slower roll to get started on all of this. I kind of knew even in November when I was setting up my goals that I was like, okay, I'm only gonna do a video or two a month and just kind of test stuff out. Um, so it'll be slower, but I am back. I am excited about being back in whatever capacity that means. And that's also how it lumps in with the event this weekend. So with all of the various health stuff, I am gonna be taking it really easy, um, but I have been testing out streams with my patrons. I am, I'm feeling really good about when I do need to step away for certain things and then when I can come back. So, you know, three hours in the morning, three hours in the afternoon, plenty of break time in between for four days. I think we're going to knock out that 1060 minutes is friends and I am excited about it. It's gonna be, I think, super fun. I can't wait to see the haikus and the super short stories that people make. I think I'm also gonna try during some of the sprints so that will also be on the bingo board. Um, so, you know, I, I'm pumped. It's gonna be fun and I can't wait to see what people come up with and I can't wait to have fun with everyone who uh, is part of it. So anyways, that's it, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you this weekend, but if I don't, I will be back sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. Bye.